Hello, good morning children. Today we are going to start with one very very important lesson. The name of the lesson is the tenses. So now, if when, when you are asked the question, what does the tenses mean? Or what, what is tense? Then what is your, what is your def answer? So the answer is that tense actually is related to the verb it relates to the, the verb and it talks about the time of the, the action of the verb time of the, the action time of the action of the, the verb now my dear children so when you are talking about the, the time of the, the action okay so the time is divided into the how many how many pairs how many components are there of the, the time time ka kitna prakar hai time ka तीन प्रकार है एक तो होता है एक तो होता है पास्ट टाइम दूसरा होता है प्रेजेंट टाइम और लास्ट होता है फ्यूचर टाइम यही मेजर टाइम है दिस द मेजर टाइम और इसका जो सब डिवीजन है हर मतलब टेंस का कितना कितना प्रकार है वन टू थ्री फोर सो इन दिमिलर मैन एंड प्रेजेंट ऑल्सो इज है so future is also having four forms one two three four that means all together we are talking about how many forms we are talking about the 12 form and this lesson will be quite interesting and quite useful because you are going to learn about you are going to learn about a very important chapter which is the basic which is related to your grammar chapter and when you are very much confident in the use in the application and in the theory of the sentences then you can bold boldly face the exam okay any exam whatever you tell and this is the basic that is very much needed so here i will be telling about the forms the structure the uses or the application and i will also tell some of the, the rules some of the, the rules and their exceptions okay therefore stay with us and let us learn the tense system or the, the system of the, the tense therefore uh, now we have learned what is the tenses that means the tenses related to the tenses is related to the related to the time there may be three different times present past and future and all the other times are again subdivided into the four therefore in total there are, there are 12 different forms and i will be teaching you how this all these uh, three three major forms can be made or can be used in the form of the chair so now my dear children so we will be talking about that assertive type of the, the sentence so what, what is a what is what is assertive a sentence assertive a s s e r t i v assertive so assertive sentence is a kind of declarative sentence what type of sentence declarative sentence a kind of declaration a kind of declaration or assertion may be positive or negative when koi bhi prakar ka ek matlab declaration hua wo declaration matlab kya ho sakta hai positive bhi ho sakta hai negative bhi ho sakta hai on the basis of that the assertive type of the, the sentence is again divided into the what divided into affirmative affirmative and then the next one is negative so here we will be talking about which one so when we are talking about when we are talking about the, the tenses so in the normally normally we will be using the, the affirmative form of the, the sentence so when you are going to make the, the table also the table showing the, the person and the, the number then also will be using the, the affirmative type of sentence and from time to time i'll also give you the, the hint how to do make the, the negative and how to do make the, the interrogative too you know? so uh, so when uh, i i talk about the, the sentence okay you see this is the, the sentence okay so in the, the sentence there are two different ways the sentences can be divided how many ways two different ways on the basis of the form 
and on the basis of the sense hai na sense or meaning meaning ka hisab se matlab tense ka matlab kitna prakar uh, sentence ka kitna prakar hai so how many forms are, forms are there there are five assertive sentence interrogative sentence imperative sentence exclamatory exclamatory sentence and objective sentence is that it so in the, the similar manner on the basis of the, the form or the structure sentence is divided into the how many kind there are three different kinds one is simple sentence another one is compound sentence the third one is complex sentence complex sentence therefore now we are not talking about the, this the form of sentence we are going to do, talk about the, the sentence this are five form of the, the sentence one is assertive sentence another is interrogative sentence another is imperative sentence and another next one is exclamatory sentence last one is optative type of sentence optative type of sentence isn't it so uh, we'll be talking about we'll be talking when we are talking about the, the tenses we'll be using the affirmative form so when you are going to make the, the table also you need to see that yes the table is made with the help of this assertive sentence and in order to make it negative and interrogative that is also quite interesting and very much necessary or very much crucial that is the basic that also is is to be mastered okay in order to master your english grammar therefore let us see now so how to how to do it how to use the present present simple and the sentence will be the affirmative sentence let us continue now <clears throat> see my dear children so we are talking about the the four four different forms of the, the tense four different forms of the present tense so you see this is number 1 this is number 1 number 1 number 2 number 3 number 4 now so the best way to learn the basic of the, the same the basic of the, the tense is to go for the table that means when you go for the conjugation okay when you go for the conjugation then the, the idea become very clear so first let us go for the conjugation i will be making you the, the table and then what you will do so i will be telling telling the, the passive form also and you will have to do master in this manner so first let us let me make the table so for it uh, so in order to make the, the conjugation what are the, the things needed so first uh, there is the, the need of the verb so the verb what verb you like suppose uh, suppose we like to use this verb built built is a verb now this a uh, built is having how many forms how many forms are there three forms are there present tense a built past tense a built past participle is built that means my dear children what you need to do, do so in order to learn the tenses so first you will have to go to the sentence and after that you will have to go to the the different forms of the verb means three different form and you will have to memorize you will have to memorize the form of the verb the three form of the verb go when gone come can come show show shoot okay in this way in this way you will have to master these three forms otherwise what will happen if you are if you are making your own form of the, the verb in the past or past participle people will begin to laugh all right therefore therefore we will have to learn the three different forms therefore let us see now so what we have written and after that object we have supposed one object and the object is suppose a house a house then uh, the tense we are talking about what tense we are talking about we are talking about the present simple tense present simple we are talking about the present simple present simple present present simple first i'll be making the table i will conjugate it and also i will be giving the additional information the passive form also and after that we will go for the application or the, the uses of the, the same 
so that you can learn in a very clear way and there is no doubt left. No sediment of the, the doubt is left. Therefore, let us uh, go to the table. So, here we go for the, the table. Let me make the, the table here. So, let me make the, the table here. First, we will be making. So, this uh, table, my dear children, will be helping you, okay, in order to convert the verb into passive too. That will help you. Therefore, suppose we are talking about the, the active or the, the passive. So, all will be having the singular and the, the plural. Therefore, we divide it into two parts. Let us uh, divide it into two parts, two major parts here. And then, these are two parts. Two parts will be one will be a singular and other will be plural. So, singular and other is a plural. Singular, other is plural. plural. And the next one will be, so the other table, this uh, part will be the person, P R S O N, person. This is the ending. Therefore, how many persons are there? Three persons in there. How many persons? Three persons. What are they? First person, first person, second person, and third person. Now, <clears throat> so you see, this is the, the table I have uh, made already. So, therefore, let us uh, come to, so we are talking about the, the tense. The tense is present simple, verb is a uh, built, object is a house. And now we are going to construct the sentence. The sentence form will be the sentence form will be what type of sentence, my dear children? So this will be assertive, or you can tell it affirmative type of sentence. That means this affirmative belongs to the what? Assertive type of sentence. Therefore, assertive sentence will be making. That means after the ending of is a full sentence, will be putting the Full stop. Therefore, let us uh, go for it. The first person is I. Now, with uh, with using I, I am going to make the, the sentence by applying the, this uh, verb built. Okay, I present. You see the present simple tense. So when you go for, go to the form of the, the simple tense, then what is the, the form that we have already discussed? Then there will be subject. There will be the main verb. Then with the object or the predicate. So subject here will be the will be what the person. Okay. The main verb will be the first form. Okay. Form number one. Because uh, you see these are three forms of the, the verbs were there. One was present, second was past, last one was past participle. Therefore. Now we will be talking about which form? First form. So when you are constructing a particular sentence into the present simple, the, the form of the, the structure is that the subject will be followed by the, the main verb. Main verb will be in the, the first form or in the present form. Means if it is a go, then go will be there. Alright? So before that, before that there will be no to be verb. To be verb kya hai? To be verb. To be verb kya hai? To be verb, there are three forms in present. They are, they are am, is, are. Okay? And after that, after that what will be there? The object will be there. Object we have already suppose. What is the object? A house. A house. Therefore, let us uh, go for it. I built a house. This full, this is complete. Now, into the plural, the first person plural will be we. We will also take the, the same. We built the Dani A. We built a house. Full stop. Then second person is say you. Other thing, things will be same. You built B E Y L D built a house. Full stop. Plural also same. You built a house house now here you will have to notice my dear children so when it is a third person in singular number particularly this third person in singular number here you will have to notice the thing 
what you will have to notice is that when the verb is into the present simple and when the subject is third person and singular number then the main verb will sometimes take s sometimes take es that is to be remembered forever this is very important therefore i put the star mark here so uh, let us uh, see now see now the the sentence will be he as i told you third person singular number is he or she or single it it then after that the verb will be b u i l d as it is a third person singular number third person see when i am talking i am the first person i am only one person therefore first person singular so when uh, we are talk to we first person but plural number when i am talking to you use the, the second person when i am talking about something that is third person when when he she it are there this third person singular number so in this way you have to do remember he she it as it is a third person singular number therefore what will come this a built will have s after it hai na builds a house builds a house then the plural form will be they b u i l d built a house therefore my dear children so in the present simple tense or present indefinite tense jab hum present simple और प्रेजेंट इनिफी टेंस का बात करेंगे उसमें सबसे इंपॉर्टेंट और महत्वपूर्ण जो बात है वो है कि सो व्हेन द सब्जेक्ट इज स्टार्ट पर्सन एंड सिंगुलर नंबर द वर्ब विल बी टेकिंग द वर्ब विल बी टेकिंग आइदर एस और ई एस विथ इट राइट वेरी सिंपल ओके ओनली यू आर टू रिमेंबर एंड यू आर टू रिमेंबर दिस table for conjugation so now let us conjugate now so let me conjugate so the verb was a built object was a house tense was a present simple so let, let us conjugate i built a house we built a house you built a house you built a house he she it builds a house they built a house so this is the active form of the same so now my dear children so we'll be now transforming it into the passive form and in the case of almost all what you will be doing suppose uh, we are talking about the present continuous form then also what you will be doing you will be transforming the same into the passive form so i'm showing you the first one the rest of it you can do by yourself and there will be a lot of practice also your mental practice also will be there that will be better for you therefore let us go so let us continue now uh, here you see so for the first person so this was the active form i built a house therefore a house is the object a house is the object and now we will be making it the subject therefore a house all right a house built is the built is what built is the is the verb now when you are going to the make the passive form then you will have to use the third form of the, the verb that is the ppt built 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 means this a t form will come a house and before that what will come to be verb will be there to be verb how many forms of to be verbs are there three forms are there m is r so a house is third person therefore and singular therefore what will come it will come a house is and after that the third form of the verb will be built b u i l t built by built by then you see the the subject here was i therefore it will be object form of i is me a house is built by me so in the, the similar manner now that the rest of the, the rest of the, the forms will be quite easy therefore you continue a house is a built by us full stop then the second one a house is b u i l t built by you 
Next one, a house same. A house is built by you. Full stop. Third one, a house is built by him, her, it. Full stop. Then similarly, a house is built, B -U -I -L -T, built by them. My dear children, I suppose that you have understood the whole content of the tenses. Okay, how to, how to make the sentence, okay, how to make the sentence by using the verb, the appropriate verb, how to make it in different voice, means passive voice, okay. How the, the changes will occur due to the change of the person into the number. Now let us continue. So we will go for, we'll go for the tenses and their applications. Let us uh, go one by one and there we continue. So let us uh, go. So first let us uh, talk about, talk about the present simple tense. So we have already discussed the present simple tense. <coughs> now let us uh, continue. With the same, suppose uh, suppose the sentence is I sing, I sing. That is complete. Then after that you can put the full stop. Then it will be as the, this will be the, the sentence in the present simple present simple or, or simple present tense. So how do you make it the simple present tense? So we can make the simple present tense simple present tense by the, the use of the subject plus main verb plus object. So what is needed is so uh, there is a need of subject, main verb plus object. So this is the format. Now let us uh, continue. So my dear children, now we will be going for the application of the, the simple present tense. So how this uh, present simple tense is used. So ye jo present simple tense hota hai, ye asal mein hota kya hai? Present simple tense मतलब ये मतलब ये है कि जो काम normally होता है, जो काम usually होता है, जो काम customarily होता है, जो काम in the sense of always होता है. So if uh, this sort of sense is there, then we'll be using the present simple tense or present indefinite tense. Alright? Therefore, let us uh, go for it. We use the simple present tense when the action is general. Okay? General. General action means the sun rises in the east. That is general matlab action. Hai. Ane, normally, hota hai. the action happens all the time, habitually, in the past, present, and future. As a kuch kaam hai, jo normally, normally, hota hai. action that happens all the time, all the time, hai na? habitually, in the past, in the present. Wo hota hai. Jo matlab kaam as a, as, a, as a habit hota hai. Suppose he gets up early in the morning. Early in the morning. Now see, he is the third person singular number and therefore he takes what? These are, these are the senses uh, present simple or present indefinite and therefore this uh, verb is used in the verb form 1. Verb form 1 is used and S is added because the subject here is the third person and singular number. And the sense here is the sense of habit. Jo kam habit ka hisab se hota hai. Jo kam roz hota hai. Jo kam roz hota hai. Aaj bhi hua, kal bhi hua tha. Future may be hone ka chances hai. Therefore, in that particular sense. The action is not only happening now. Not only happening now. Asa nahi ke matlab na. Ham jab bolte hai. Tab wo kam hota hai. Asa nahi hai. But normally hota hai. Usually hota hai. As a habit hota hai. Or generally hota hai. Or, or universally hota hai. The statement is always true. Hai na? Kuch jo statement hai. Wo statement har dem matlab true hai. Suppose uh, uh, say for example you were talking. The milk is what? Hai na? Milk. Milk is Milk is white. Anna? So the statement is always true. So nobody will tell, no, 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 milk is red here. Okay? In our place, the milk is red. 
इन अवर प्लेस द मिल्क इज येल्लो है ना हम येल्लो मिल्क लेते हैं ऐसा नहीं है ना दे आर श्योर हाँ नॉर्मली तो हम मतलब ऐसा होता है कि मतलब ना वो टर्मरिक वाला मतलब दूध तो लेते हैं वो दूध मतलब क्या होता है कलर मतलब कलर मतलब टर्मरिक देने के बाद ही मतलब उसका कलर येलो हो जाते हैं लेकिन क्या है उसका जो जो हैबिचुअल जो फॉर्म है उसका जो उसका जो नॉर्मल फॉर्म है वो क्या है इन दैट पर्टिकुलर सेंसेस द प्रेजेंट सिंपल टेंस इज यूज्ड लेट अस गो फॉर इट नाउ लेट अस कंटिन्यू देयर वी गो जॉन ड्राइव्स अ टैक्सी जॉन ड्राइव्स अ टैक्सी सो यू सी दिस इन दिस सेंटेंस सो जॉन इज द सब्जेक्ट ड्राइव इज द वर्ब इन प्रेजेंट सिंपल is the object a taxi is the object now when we are talking about the first form of the same sentence what will be there then john past simple will be john d r o v drop a taxi when we are using the, the future tense means future in, in the future simple or indefinite then what will be the, the form the form will be john j o h n john will drive a taxi so this is the major difference major difference therefore now let us see a look at the sentence then we will understand the application i live in new work i live in new work the moon goes round the earth the moon goes round the earth john drives a taxi he does not drive a bus we do not work at night do you play football and see all this is all this are the use of the present simple i live in new world means this one is the is the truth this is the truth this is the usual truth the moon goes round the earth this what the universal truth john drives a taxi means this is habitual it becomes its habit and related to his profession He doesn't drive a bus. वो बस नहीं चलाते हैं है ना उसका वो हैबिट नहीं है देर फोर डू यू प्ले फुटबॉल डू यू प्ले फुटबॉल देर फोर देर ऑल्सो देंस इज प्रेजेंट प्रेजेंट सिंपल सेंस ओके माई डियर चिल्ड्रेन नाउ लेट अस कम टू द सेकेंड पार्ट सेकेंड पार्ट ऑफ द प्रेजेंट टेंस सो द सेकेंड पार्ट इज द प्रेजेंट सेकेंड पार्ट इज द प्रेजेंट कंटिन्यूस टेंस सो इन दिस प्रेजेंट कंटिन्यूस टेंस so first we'll see the form or the structure then we'll see the use and after that we'll be going to the next one the present perfect tense so let us go for it let us see the present continuous tense now after written the the sentence i am singing a song i am singing a song so here you see the form is what is the, the form subject comes first okay and after that what comes to be verb to be verb kya hota hai uska present form hota hai present form present form then main verb or mb plus ing hota hai plus object so this is the format my dear children of the present continuous tense so in many cases uh, so uh, let me point out what may be the, the mistake here so the normally the, the mistake is that suppose i going to delhi so this is the mistake because uh, this has uh, got uh, no sense it uh, doesn't uh, follow any format or form therefore we will have to do follow the, the format or the form that means uh, here what is missing is the to be verb to be verb five forms are there okay to be verb in the, the present in the, the present three forms am is are and in the, the past two forms are there was and were was and were therefore so what will be the, there in the, the in the, the format in the, the format there will be subject there will be to be verb okay to be verb then there will be main verb to be verb here is suppose i is the, the subject to be verb is am sing is the main verb 
plus ing ing is used and then a song is the object or predicate therefore this is the format of the sentence in assertive or declarative or affirmative type of sentence is it clear my dear children i suppose it is very clear that means in the present continuous okay or this is also called what type of sentence this also called progressive sentence progressive in this a present continuous or present progressive sentence what is a needed is verb will take the ing form and before that to be form will be there that is the, the that is the format okay you will have to remember that now let us uh, proceed there we go let us continue so we have already discussed the formation of the, the present continuous as there so there will be the subject there will be the auxiliary verb there will be the main verb okay main verb main verb and the main verb will be taking the, the ing form therefore the look at this uh, table i am speaking to you you are reading this she is not staying in london we are not playing football so this is the negative sentence this also negative sentence positive sentence positive sentence positive means the affirmative sentence negative means the what negative sentence so therefore this all this belongs to what declarative or assertive type of sentence so in all this we have seen the use of the present continuous tense now let us proceed let us proceed so uh, my dear children this is now quite important so how do we use the present continuous tense we use the present continuous tense to talk about the action happening now the action into the future so in this uh, two sense jo kaam abhi is waqt ho raha hai jab hum bolte hain tab ye kaam ho raha hai in that particular sense of present continuous tense or present progressive tense is used और कुछ ऐसा काम है जो काम मतलब फिक्स हो गया फ्यूचर में वो काम कंप्लीट होगा फॉर दैट आल्सो प्रेजेंट कंटिन्यूस टेंस और प्रेजेंट प्रोग्रेसिव टेंस इज यूज्ड है ना लेट अस सी नाउ लेट अस सी द एप्लीकेशन सो हियर यू सी दिस पर्टिकुलर एग्जांपल दिस एग्जांपल आई एम ईटिंग माय लंच आई एम ईटिंग माय लंच सो व्हेन आई एम टॉकिंग आई एम टेकिंग माय लंच मे बी इट इज 1:30 ओके इट इज अ 1:30 and or it may be 2 o'clock and it is at the time for the lunch and at the moment of speaking at the moment at that particular time he is taking the lunch means that the work is in progress kaam chalu hai the action is happening now now let us see the next you see this one john is going out with mary john is going out with mary suppose uh, now it is a 10 10:00 am this is a 10 o'clock in the morning and now somebody is uh, telling that john is going out with mary so this actually this is the planning and the action is going to happen very soon very 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 soon means very near future okay very near future so for that the present progressive or continuous tense is used the action is happening around now abhi hone ka hai jo fixed hua hai look at these examples model is learning to drive is learning to drive matlab abhi nahi sikh raha hai matlab uska planning hai wo sikhenge bahut jaldi iski kyunki inka bahut zarurat hai therefore according to the plan now He is going to execute the plan. वो काम शुरू करेंगे. I am living with my sister until I find an apartment. I am living. So this uh, this is the present sense. I am living with my sister until I find an apartment. So unless and until I get an apartment to live. So till then I am living. Means that this also this also implies the sense which will continue in near future too then let us continue 
Now, present continuous tense uh, for the future action. I am taking my exam next month. You see this one. I am taking my exam next month. Means that the exam is uh, fixed. So, it will be held in the, the next month. And the person is uh, using the, the present continuous to mean that he is planning. He is uh, planning to sit for the, the exam or to face the, the exam. The next month. That means this is also an action that is going to happen in future the plan of which is made in the present. Therefore in that sense also present continuous tense or progressive tense is used. Uh, my dear children, ye jo kuch hai rules bolenge hum, ye bohut important hai how to do make the, the present continuous uh, form ko hum dekhte hai. We make the, the present continuous tense by adding ing to the basic or the base verb. Normally it is a simple, we just add ing, but sometimes we have to do change the word a little. Perhaps we double the letter or we drop a letter. Here are the rules to help you know how to spell the present continuous tense. So uh, now see, <coughs> uh, let us see that the first one work. Work is the base, base work. You know? और द रूट वर्ब सो अभी हम देखेंगे ये नॉर्मल जो ये है ना इसको मतलब क्या है दिस इज एस वाई एल एल ए बी एल ए इसमें कितना सिलेबल है सिलेबल का मतलब क्या है सो so, जब मतलब हम एक वर्ड को प्रोनाउंस करेंगे इफ ओनली वन एटेम इज नीडेड तो उसको वन सिलेबिक बोला जाता है means actually it is the the attempt of the utterance or the attempt of the pronunciation to ye jo hai na verb jab hum bolenge isme kitna atom chahiye pronounce karne ke liye keval ek atom chahiye work hai na suppose workable means two word here workable work and able added work therefore so this sort of verb when you are adding ing when it is ending with ending with the consonant k is the consonant therefore it is adding uh, ending with the consonant and therefore then there is no problem only ing is added there is no problem at all so in the, the similar manner you see this is also consonant t is assist t is consonant i am adding a ing simply after it and this uh, becomes the participle okay present continuous form what with ing is also called the participle form you know? so this becomes the participle or it becomes assisting now uh, here we see c as double is c from there c b b all right now let us uh, see some of the, the exception is the verb of either the base of verb ends in consonant Plus a stress a vowel or consonant double the, the last letter. Now let us see what is the, the rule that tells. Now let us see when we are talking about uh, this uh, verb stop. See the verb stop. So how many syllables are there? One syllable. All right. But uh, here you see this is ending with uh, the consonant. This is all right. But before that there is the, the vowel there is the vowel so the word is ending with the consonant and it is a preceded by a vowel and the vowel is a stressed one s t r e stressed hai na isme kya hai there is pressure stress when we are uttering the word stop 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 so in this way stress is there on stop step is there on o therefore what is needed is in order to make the participle form or the ing form what is needed the last letter is to be double and then ing is to be added from stop so there it will, it will be stopping run running begin beginning so in this uh, way when you are very much uh, conversant or when you know the, the rules very well 
then there will be no mistake at all. So many times what happened there is uh, this uh, form is there either the base the verb ends in ie. This uh, form is there change the ie to y. Anna? Suppose lie from there lie. Die, die. Alright. So see that the next one, the next one. If the base verb end in vowel plus consonant plus plus e, omit the e. Let us see this formula. The verb base verb is c o m e come. Ending with what? The vowel e is the vowel a e i o u e is the vowel. And before that, what comes m? M is the consonant. Therefore, when you are adding the, the i n to the form in it. Then what we need to do? We simply drop the e. We simply drop the vowel e. So this is the rule. This is the exception to the rule. Now let us come to the third one, present perfect tense. This is very important. So let us come to this present perfect form. This is the third form. Let us continue. Let us continue with the third form. The present perfect form. The present perfect tense is a rather important tense in English, but it gives speakers of some languages a difficult time. This is because it uses concept or ideas that do not exist in those languages. In fact, the structure of the present perfect tense is very simple. The problem comes with the use of the tense. So now, first let us come to the structure or the form. So when you are talking about the form, then what will come? The subject will come and then there will be the have verb in the present form. In the present form. So how many of them are there? Have verb present form. One is H A V E have. Another one is H. Then there will be the main verb. Main verb. What form will be there? Main verb will be having the third form means there will be the P P T past participle form. So this is the simple form, my dear children. But normally, what exactly happen when you are the native speaker? When your language is to the English language, then there is no problem in it. The question arises, or the problem arises when we are not the native speaker. So it is a foreign language for us. And in our mother tongue or in our regional language, the application of it is not clear. Okay, the problem comes with the use of the tense. In addition, there are some differences in the usage between British and the American English too. Therefore, as you are very much aware, there is application difference of the application in the case. Of the British and American English. So here also in this case also there is a some difference and we will have to master it now. Let us go for it. Let us see now. The present perfect tense is really a very interesting tense and very useful one. Try not to translate the present perfect tense into your language. Just try to accept the concept of this tense and learn to think present perfect. You will soon learn to like the present perfect tense. So now how to make the present perfect tense. So as we have already discussed there will be the subject. There will be the auxiliary verb. Auxiliary verb means there will be the have verb as you have talked. And this have verb will be having two forms. Have and has. Now when we will be talking about when we will be talking about the past perfect when we will be talking about the past perfect then only head form of the verb will come head form of the have verb will come all right that you will have to regard that you will have to learn then there will be the main verb main verb will have, have the main verb will have the third form means there will be the ppt form of the main verb let us see now let us see with some examples. Let us continue. So let us see to the table. I have seen, I have seen, okay. I have seen eating. You have eaten mine. She has not been to Rome. We have not played football. 
so these are the, the use uh, so you have to notice I take the half and then uh, it was the original base uh, base form of the, the verb was see and from there see so seen eat at eaten be was been be was been okay we have not played coming from play play is the base form of the, the verb therefore let us uh, continue now there you go so this uh, quite important part is the present perfect tense the application of the, the present perfect tense this uh, present tense is called the present perfect tense present perfect tense there is always a connection with the past and with the present there are basically three uses for the present perfect tense so when i am talking about the present perfect tense present perfect tense so this is related to both the past and the and the present both the past and the present now how it is a so present perfect tense for experience we often use the present perfect tense to do talk about experience from the past experience from the past we are not interested in when you did something we only want to know if you did it okay <clears throat> So the example is, I have seen, I have seen the planetarium. Say for example, I am I'm telling, I have seen the planetarium. Means, my experience of seeing the planetarium is over. Therefore, in that particular sense, the sense of the experience, the tense is used. I have lived in Bangkok. I have lived in Bangkok. Here also you see. So this is also the kind of the experience. So you went to Bangkok, you have the experience of living there, you lived there for some time, therefore you have gathered the experience of living there in Bangkok. Therefore this also talks about the experience. Have you been there? We have never eaten kabir. So these are the these are the matter of the experience. Now let us see the present perfect tense for change. How this present perfect tense is a used for change. Let us go for it. I have a car. I have a car. In the past, last week I did not have a car. So now it is a change now. So uh, now you possess a particular car and therefore you become the, the owner of the, the car. This uh, have actually shows the, the position and this is also the present perfect tense. And this is related to the past and compared to the past, it actually shows some changes in the present. Now let us see, yesterday John had a good leg. Okay. Yesterday John had a good leg. After that what happened? Now, now he actually met with the accident and after the accident what happened? His leg is broken. Now he has a bad leg. Broken leg. So this also the question of the, the change. Change is is really initiated by the, the past. Therefore, let us continue now. There we go. Let us continue. Only let us see the, the difference uh, between the, the American speaker and the, the British speaker in the, the use of the, the present perfect tense. Let us see. Americans do not use the, the present perfect tense so much as the British speakers. American often use the past tense instead. An American might say, did you have lunch? Where a British person would say, have you had your lunch? So this is the basic difference and quite interesting too. I suppose you understood it. Now let us come to the present perfect tense for continuing situation. For continuing situation, this is both important for the application. We often use the present perfect tense to talk about the, the continuing situation. This is a state that started into the past and continued into the present and will probably continue into the future. This is a step, not an action we usually use for and since with this structure. So, my dear children, in order to show the continuity of the particular situation, ek jo avastha hai, 
एक जो सिचुएशन है वो सिचुएशन को कंटिन्यू दिखाने के लिए मतलब बरकरार दिखाने के लिए हम क्या करते हैं सो वी यूज द प्रेजेंट परफेक्ट टेंस एंड फॉर दैट वी यूज टू वर्ड्स वी यूज टू वर्ड्स वन इज फॉर अनदर वन इज सिंस दिस आर टू प्रीपोजिशंस आर यूज्ड इन ऑर्डर टू शो दिस ड्यूरेशन ऑफ द टाइम therefore let us see how it is used after worked here since june after worked here since june means still now i have been working here okay still now i am working he has been ill for two day two days means it is the second day the illness is continuous how long have you known tara means your experience of knowing tara when did it start and as far as the present time is concerned it is still now a question of the present then let us continue let us uh, see this uses we we use the for to talk about period of time we use now see period of time and point of time how it is uh, used in the present present perfect tense for means period of time since a point of time okay so period of time 5 minutes 2 weeks 6 years point of time 9 o'clock 1 january monday so these are the point of time let us continue now i have been here for 20 minutes i have been here for 20 minutes for 20 minutes these are the duration of the, the time this uh, tense here is tense here is a present perfect tense now here you see the point of time i have been here since 9 o'clock this actually is the point of time and this uh, actually also is the use of the present perfect tense now let us uh, go to the next one that we move the last one present perfect continuous tense present perfect continuous tense so when i give the definition of the present continuous present perfect continuous tense it will be quite easier a particular work that started in the in the in the earlier time or in the past time and at the present moment when the speaker is talking he, even when the work is in continuous state then present perfect continuous tense is used so for that what is needed is a subject is needed auxiliary verb is needed main verb ing form is needed okay main verb ing form is needed therefore therefore let us see what is the form here let us see now i have been waiting for one hour you have been waiting you have been talking too much it has not been raining we have not been playing football have you been seeing her have they been doing their homework so these are the these are the uses of the present continuous form let us see the uses and let us remember an action that has just stopped and recently stopped for that the present perfect continuous tense is used let us remember an action that has just stopped at the moment of talking it is stopped or recently stopped i am tired because i have been running means running was continuous and at the moment it now i just recently stopped so for that also the present perfect continuous tense is used let us see the second one an action continue up to now an action continue up to now we use the present perfect continuous tense to talk about an action that started in the past and is continuing at the present time too at the present time too this is often used for since or for i have been reading for 2 hours so my dear children i suppose you understood the four different verbs their forms and their uses 
into the present. That means the present tense, the different types of the, the present tense, their uses, their conjugation, their forms, everything you have understood in this uh, particular lecture. Therefore, I hope I will meet you in the, the next video. Till then, bye bye. Have a very good day.